Now, in order to transfer the information that we see here onto the top, we need to really think about these boxes and the ratio of how things are laid out. So, having a look at the top of this pencil sharpener, we know we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So, again, that's an even number, so we know we've got a halfway line. And if we actually switch this round to the end and have a look at the end, you can see that this blade comes maybe slightly past the halfway line. In fact, the top edge here that runs along here looks like it's roughly down the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this line here runs down the middle. So I know the middle is three lines in, so I'm just going to pencil in that a little bit, but not completely at the moment. I'm just trying to lay things out right. Then the blade juts out a little bit to the actual edge of the blade, and that is a small amount. So I'm going to go half a box for the blade sticking out. And on this side, obviously, this gap is much bigger than on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably about one sixth. If we broke this down into six equal parts, this would be about a sixth, and a sixth would be one box. So I'm going to go for one box. And if this is one box, I would definitely say that this is probably about two. We've probably got one, two, and then three to the edge there. That's halfway. And then one, two, three. So this top section here is about two squares wide. This bit here is about two squares wide. So I'm going to go ahead and pencil that in. Now this might be slightly less. I'm going to go one and a half. And then you can see it drops down a little bit. So I'm going to say that goes along and then drops down. Again, how far in does this go? Well, I can look at this line, and this line is definitely longer than this line. So I know it's more than two boxes or one and a half boxes. But it's probably almost double that, but slightly less. So if we go with an estimation of three boxes, I think that's about right. Then we can drop this in, and then this will carry on along. The next bit of information we've got is this curve here. Well, this curve from here to here, we've got a gap going from here to here. So we've got about two and a half boxes across. So we know the center line uh, will be halfway from those. So we can come one box in, one box in and then we've got about a quarter left so we know the center line is going to be along here somewhere and it looks to me that it's about two boxes in from the end so if we come two boxes in the center of that curve is going to be there so I'm just going to flick across to a black pen and put some of that important information in I'm going to start drawing this top section here and it comes in and then it comes down straight, 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 straight until it's level with that center point. Same with this one. It's going to go straight until it hits level with there. And the edges of the blade actually just carry on to the edge of the curve. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is put that curve in. And again, I'm using that estimation of one box. It's going to be, if this is one box, that's maybe half a box. So the edge of this curve is going to come to about here, which is about right because we've got one and a half one and a half, one and a half. And if this is a circle, that's where we'd expect it to be. So I'm going to put that semicircle in there. And then I'm going to carry on the edge of the blade and the very, very edge of the blade. And then hopefully that's put in most of the information. The last thing is this screw on the top. Now, at a glance, I would say that screws in the middle, but I don't think it is. I think it's actually in the middle of this blade. And in fact, when you turn this over on the side, you can see it is slightly more this end than it is that end. It's probably about one box over. Position-wise, on the blade, it's, it's slightly to this side. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six in. Oh, no, five. One, two, three, four, five. If it was in the middle, the center would probably be here, but it's probably about one box in, so I'm going to mark the center as there. And this circle doesn't quite go to either edge, so I'm going to go three quarters of the way, three quarters, 
three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, and there's my top of my screw. Uh, I could go ahead and put these circles in as well. Now, hopefully what we've achieved there is a very good representation in terms of ratio to what's actually on the top of here. Now, a little sneaky tip I can do is I can actually try and line this up by bringing it up and closer to the camera until the box around the outside is about the same as the one on the page, which is there. And then I can slightly move it to the edge and you can see the bottom of the blade lines up, the edge and the very edge and that tip there all lines up. And if I move it up and out of the way we can see that those curves are about right. I'd say the screw is slightly out, needed to be ever so slightly to the left. But it's a pretty good representation. So what I'd like you to go ahead and do is have a go at sketching that in on your own square grid and then meet me for the next video.